Baby vanished during car crash. Police found her in the most unexpected place. Driving has always contained an element of danger. No matter how careful a driver is, there are plenty of other factors to consider in ensuring the safety of everyone in the car. From road rage to distracted drivers to those who hit the road under the influence, it only takes one wrong move for a tragic accident to occur. On Friday night, five people from Arkansas were on their way home from attending a family event at a friend's house. The night was chilly and the car was running smoothly until suddenly, out of nowhere, a massive truck sideswiped the vehicle. In an instant, the riders were thrown away. The four adults were hurt but conscious. Suddenly, they realized that the fifth member of the family, an eight-month-old, was nowhere in sight. It was as if she just vanished into thin air. What happened in the next hour was something that will make everyone believe that miracles do happen. Trina Johnson and Jakeesha Colson were good neighbors from Hope, Arkansas. Living close to each other for years, the two women had become best friends. Both of them were living with their respective families, who'd grown close to each other as well. Whenever there's an event to attend, Trina would always call Jakeesha. They were the best buddies. From cooking new recipes to shopping the latest stuff in the market, the two women were almost inseparable. When Jakeesha got pregnant, Trina had been incredibly supportive. She used to accompany her to the clinic whenever the baby's father was not available. Her daughter, Justice, had been excited as well. Whatever food Jakeesha asked for during her pregnancy, she delivered. In terms of love, concern, and cooperation, it was easy to say that the two families had been merged into one. Their happiness was doubled when Jakeesha gave birth to an adorable baby girl. They named her Bryce. Trina's family just loved the outdoors, and whenever they had the chance to travel, they would always include Jakeesha's family. However, when Bryce was born, there were lots of escapades that Jakeesha missed since the baby was still very young. One night, Trina received an invitation from one of her friends who had moved out to another neighborhood. It was a dinner party, and naturally, her first thought was to invite Jakeesha and her baby. At first, the new mother was quite reluctant, as her eight-month-old baby was still vulnerable to the weather. But after some time, she also said yes. Having heard the promise that the party won't take long. Bryce was not used to traveling, so Jakeesha decided to have his sister, Shamira Colson, to go with them. It wasn't a problem, as Trina's car was able to accommodate them, as well as the baby's belongings. Before long, Trina's car was on the highway. She was with her daughter on the front seat. Jakeesha, Shamira, and Bryce were seated comfortably in the back seat. The baby was evidently curious about the evening lights, and she kept looking out the window. The four adults were amused at the baby's reactions to her surroundings. Trina, on the other hand, was in the mood to plan for the next getaway. She was saying something about an out-of-town trip when suddenly they heard a deafening noise. Before they even realized what was happening, their vehicle flipped over into the night. Trina Johnson had always been a calm and smooth driver. That night, she was traveling on Interstate 30 in Texarkana, Arkansas. They were not in a hurry to get home. That's why Tina was doing it cool on the highway. Moreover, she had four passengers and one of them was a baby. Despite talking with her friends and family, Trina was confident that her main focus was on the road in front of her. Her car was alone in the lane when, suddenly, in a split second, she felt the unfathomable force of a gigantic vehicle from her left. In the blink of an eye, her head was spinning and she was being thrown out of her car. Trina was sure her car had collided with another vehicle. The massive force of the collision had activated the vehicle's airbag and, in an instant, she'd flung into the air. However, before she could even process the damage in her body, another passing car hit her again. Justice had seen everything. She was screaming all the time but was too late to pull her mom to the side. When she looked down again, she saw that blood was all over her mother's body. Jakeza and Shamira couldn't believe that within seconds, everything in their lives could change. A moment ago, they were at the back with baby Bryce. The next thing they knew, they were both on the road with minor cuts and their heads were spinning like crazy. When the realization that they'd been involved in an accident hit Jakeesha, her mind instantly went to her baby. But alas, the eight-month-old baby was nowhere near her. Despite feeling weak, 
Jakeesha crawled and looked inside the flipped car. She wasn't there. Jakeesha saw that her best friend, Trina, was badly hurt. However, Justice was motioning that she was still alive. There was already a crowd of people tending to her. The other motorists had stopped to help. Some even called the authorities to report the accident. Seeing that her sister was safe too, Jakeesha had only one thing to check, her dear baby. She was shocked and temporarily not able to move. However, not knowing where her baby was, was worse than anything. Within a few minutes, Jakeesha heard the siren of the police cars. She also saw an ambulance. She whispered a prayer of thanks because she knew that Trina badly needed help. But while the authorities were certainly close to putting the situation under control, Jakeesha couldn't afford to stay seated on the road without seeing Bryce. Her sister Shamira began to search the car as well, but there were no signs of the month-old baby. Jakeesha began to scream. The police officials heard Jakeesha's hysterical scream. The woman was frantically searching in the car. At first, they thought she was just traumatized by the collision. But when they got close, they realized that the woman was looking for her baby. When the officials found out that there were five passengers, they began to help the two women to look for the missing baby. All of them were shouting the baby's name. The cops had surveyed the road and were also able to keep the crowd from interfering further. But try as they might, they couldn't find Bryce. Jakeesha knew she'd acquired some cuts and bruises. The emergency team approached her to stabilize her condition. However, she knew her wounds could wait. At first, she was thinking that Bryce had been trapped inside the car. But the cops had already checked the whole vehicle from inside and out. Still, no one knew where she was. The officials were feeling positive that they would find the baby nearby. However, they've checked the road and had widened their radius. It was like they were actors in a nightmare movie. How was it possible to lose a baby in a highway within a blink of an eye? The police and the emergency team who responded to the scene knew their prime responsibility. They'd quickly scanned the scene of the accident and had already transported the badly hurt driver to the hospital. They'd also confirmed that the other three passengers, Jakeesha, Justine, and Shamira, were in safe condition. But one thing also baffled them. Where was the eight-month-old baby? If she'd been thrown out of the car, they couldn't find her nearby. Only God knows how much damage she'd get. The other officials feared that their rescue mission would soon turn to a recovery mission, but then they heard a sound. Jakeesha had already recovered from the shock. However, she felt as if her heart was not beating at all. Her baby was still nowhere in sight. It's as if she'd vanished into thin air. She'd circled the car and even checked the trailer truck that had sideswiped her vehicle. Several negative thoughts were running in her mind. What if some traveler had taken advantage of the accident and had snatched her baby? Jakeesha was trying to block the thoughts, but her stubborn mind just couldn't stop thinking about morbid things. Every second that passed by felt like a knife plunging deeper and deeper into her heart. Then suddenly, she saw some officials running down the hill beside the highway. The seasoned responders were used to seeing hysterical people during an accident However, that night, they completely understood why the woman was acting so crazy. She couldn't find her eight-month-old baby. It was just possible that Bryce had walked away from the scene of the accident. Then, amidst the siren of the police team and the emergency car, a soft sound was heard. The bewildered officials sprang to their feet and followed the source of the sound. Twenty-five feet off the road was a grassy, man-made hill with a storm drain. At first, the officials thought it would be quite impossible to find Bryson there, but as they were approaching, they were hearing some sounds. But it was not a sound of crying or screaming. Hopes began to rise. To their wildest amazement, the eight-month-old baby was indeed inside the storm drain, sitting in there as if nothing had happened. For a while, none of the cops dared to speak or move. A sudden feeling of calmness swept them all. After the momentary shock, the cops got their wits back and began to manage the situation. The storm drain was located under the bars and they were deeply puzzled by how the baby ended up under there, clearly unscathed. Bryce was staring at them, looking amazed. She wasn't crying at all, not even moving. 
It's as if she was waiting for the cops to find her and get her out of there. She only showed a different reaction when she saw her mom, Jakeja, who was crying from relief. The storm drain was a crowded space, and the metal bars that covered made it not easy to remove the baby. The rescuers had to think of a way to pull the baby out as soon as possible without hurting her. The panic was slowly settling in, and it was evident on the baby's eyes. Three firefighters were assigned to do the job. Even though more officials were willing to help, the limited space didn't allow everyone to lend a helping hand. They just relied on the logic. She accidentally got inside, so they could also get her out. The firefighters were amazed enough of what happened to the baby. However, their admiration for Bryce had doubled when the rescue mission began. She was just eight months old, but it seemed that she completely understood what was happening around her. Bryce had been extremely cooperative all throughout the whole process. The firefighters had to turn her little head in a certain way, as well as her body, to be able to get her out safely. Bryce didn't cry at all. She was making the task easier for the rescuers. Rescuing little Bryce made everyone stop in their tracks. Chakeja was extremely relieved to know that her baby was alive. It was only then that her heart seemed to beat again. The firefighters told her to wait as they would do everything to save her baby. When Bryce was finally out, Jakeja wept and laughed at the same time. She hugged and kissed her little sweetheart like there was no tomorrow. Her little angel was alive and it was like a miracle. Everyone in the scene that night was teary-eyed at the reunion of the mother and her daughter. Earlier, Jakeja and the rest of the group refused to get medical attention. Trina was in the hospital already and they'd heard the word that she was going to make it. When the authorities found out that everything had been put under control, they ordered the rest of the group to seek medical attention. While Bryce seemed to be okay, Jakeja couldn't just rest at all. She needed to make sure that her baby was fine, both from the inside and the outside. After making sure that the driver of the trailer truck was already under the custody of the police, all of them were taken to the hospital. The next morning, what happened to Jakeja's family particularly to the eight-month-old baby, had grabbed the public's attention. News channels and other media outlets just couldn't believe that Bryce had survived the accident unscathed. According to the hospital report, Bryce sustained a scratch on her forehead and nothing more. More people expressed their reactions. For them, it was an amazing story of survival. It was not documented by the authorities. One would surely find it hard to believe how Bryce managed to stay safe and sound. Many believe that what had happened was a kind of divine intervention. Others claim that guardian angels were indeed real. Bryce was found 25 feet from the car and was found safe and sound. No one could argue that what happened was a miracle. The four passengers were treated at a hospital and were immediately released. Trina was left as she still needed a few weeks to recover from her injuries. However, the doctors ensured that she would soon be able to resume her normal lifestyle and be fully recovered. The truck driver that caused the family's vehicle to flip was already cited. He was charged for an improper and unsafe lane change. Up this day, Jakeja and the rest of the family firmly believed that what happened to Bryce on that fateful Friday night was no doubt a miracle. The accident had brought them a kind of life lesson and a memory that they would forever carry in their hearts.